AK Geeks. Hey guys, Eddie Thorson here bringing you another re a first review of WWE 2K16. Now, beef history about this game, me and this game. Um, I haven't played this type of game in a long time. I picked up, the last WWE game I picked up was WWE 13, which I played for a little bit to turn back. Before that, it hasn't been since 2010, so I've been out of date with this game. So in order for me to do a good review of this game, I had to play 2K15 first. Then go back and play 2K16 like that and see what was the difference was and do a comparison like that. I knew what was the game was about. Now, um, like I said, I haven't played this type of game in a long time, so I'm really, really rusty on this game. I do have now in my hand 2K15, 2K16, and I got 2K14. But the only reason why I picked up 2K14, WWE 2K14, was because it was an Undertaker special, and I am a fan of Undertaker. So. Um, with that said, let's go on with the review. Um, now, as I do this review, I'm going to cut out like that I can show game footage of the game, like that you can see what I'm, you can see some things in the game. Um, as I was going with the game, the first thing I noticed, well, first a brief history of the game itself. Uh, WWE 2K16 is, of course, the 17th game under the WWE banner. This is 17th game, so my review means nothing. Something, something there is going to make this game successful, and it's been going on for 17 iterations. This is now tw 2016, so this game has been around since 2000. So there's something they're doing right for the fan base. So my, this is my review and my opinion of the game. All right, this is also the third, the third version of the game under the 2K banner. So that means they has been working with 2K with this game for. 2K14, 2K15, and of course 2K16, and of course the upcoming 2K17 coming out in 2017, later on this year. Excuse me. <clears throat> the developer of this game is Yuke's Visual Concept. That's the people that developed the game. It's being published by Take Two Interactive. Um, to Take Two Interactive is basically they make all the 2K games, baseball, 2K. Football 2K, whatever 2K it is, it's made by Take Two Interactive. Now this game is on all platforms. That means it's on Xbox One, 360, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, as well as the Windows computer systems. Um, this is a single player and a multiplayer game. So that means you can play it by yourself, or you can play online with friends, or you know both of you guys in the same place, same time. Got two controllers. Hey, go ahead ahead with each other. Um, the game has made a lot of changes since I last played. Uh, like I said, I played 2K15. 2K15 is very big time different than 2K16 in many ways and many aspects. Um, there's been four modes of the game. One of the modes is to create a suite, which you can create a diva, uh, create a show, create an arena, create a championship, everything creative. Um, which is my favorite part of the game, which I like, because I like creating my own stuff. Um, as well as you know, excuse me. That I mean, from what I seen, that this section was removed. Some of these sections were removed from the 2K15, but it was brought back to the 2K16. Um, you, in this in this version of it, you create your character. You got hair dye, change uh, material properties, having a mask, a shirt, whatever you want. And they even try to put into this a new photo importing tool. We never try it. But still, I mean, it's a good game all together. Uh, that section is something I like. I'll go forward with it. Um, then they have what they call three other modes. The 2K Showcase, the My Career, and the My, well, excuse me, the Dirty Universe. Uh, the 2K Showcase is coming back from the last Tuesday. This is something that 2K has always done with their games from what I've seen. Uh, they always put a 2K Showcase. Uh, it, it, then this one, in this year's version, is uh, covering the career of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Popular character, understand why do you want to do that. The second showcase, which, <coughs> excuse me, the second showcase is only available through, from what I read, through the, when you order the season pack, the DLCs, the Hall of Fame pack. It's a collection of classic matches featuring WWE's Hall of Fame's 
not including Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger was not a character, a character during the time of the Dirty Wrestling career. But they did add him as a DLC character to play as his regular form, and I think as his Terminator form. Um, the 2K, which I'm probably showing you on right now, is good. I played it for a little bit. It's different. I mean, like I said, I haven't played it in a while, so I'm not used to the way the controllers are playing with it, but I did try my best. My first match I won, my second match I lost. But going forward, one of the other key things I liked about this game is that they show they have a large roster compared to the previous years. I mean, this is one of the biggest rosters that I have ever seen in a WWE game. Which I'm quite surprised. As well as your creative character. You can add, download 100 characters. I think that's a bit excessive for that much. But it was alright. I mean, alright. Now going back to the dirty of my career. They've been expanding from what I read from the 2K15 version. Now again, I didn't play too much of the 2K15. And nor have I played a lot of the 2K16. But... It looks pretty interesting. Now, these mods are only available on the PlayStation 4, the PC, and the Xbox One. Um, this gives the player more of a chance to control over their own personal superstars. Their personalities influenced by actions that they take in the game. Whether they're good, you know, as they call it in the industry, a face or a heel. Um, forming alliances and, and rivalries. One of the key things in this mode is the alliance. The alliance is also having a big influence over this game as well um, again the my career section good like it interesting but again I'm not used to the controls again that's my biggest thing I gotta get used to the controls all over again going into the last and final mode of the WWE universe it's the WWE universe the universe mode supposedly has been tweaked I really don't see no comparison between the last iteration and this iteration um, Basically, it says that you can see, you can play the characters, you can book the characters on multiple shows. The storylines, the storylines have been added to the mode. Again, it's alright, but again, it's the whole for me. It's the whole thing about the controls. Um, you can work with the Undertaker WrestleMania rivalry, the Royal Rumble rivalry for whatever reason, as well as the Survivor Series storyline. Uh, Again, one of the noticed things I noticed about this game is a lot of the live action cutscenes, which I had to personally cut out when I was doing this video, because I don't want to be in trouble with WWE or anything else like that. I just want to show you aspects of the games. Now, as I play this game, I don't know what engine they're using, but looking at it, there's not been much changes or updates from the earlier versions. It's still t the background still looks kind of old, old to me. Like it doesn't need to be there. I mean, they did a little bit more details with the audience background. It's good. It's alright, but again, I, my key thing is the control figures. It took me a long time just to get the idea of how to break moves, move around, but it's still a little out there for me. I don't understand the whole control situation. I think maybe in time I could play, as I play this game, I would get more better with the controls, but as of right now, I am not that proficient at it. Uh, my key thing is the control issues, simplification for me, maybe, you know, in time, I get it just right. Uh, if I have to score this game, the score is okay, but would I play it as a consistent basis? No, this is something I will probably play, um, you know, when I get nothing else to play or I need a break for something else. I'm um, Right now, it's not on my top of the game playlist. And as for 2K17, which is coming out in a couple of months, I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to pick up that game.